Hi, I'm Mark Bolanse. I want to talk to you today about my new book about Southeast Asian contemporary art. Southeast Asia is the last frontier in contemporary art because there are very few publications, there are very few museums, very few uh, books, very few magazines. So it's very difficult to pinpoint the essence of Southeast Asian contemporary art. This is what I've tried to do uh, for the last five years, making interviews with the artists, make, doing research and really trying to get to the core of the content of the works of the artists. Artists from six different countries have been selected to, uh, for this beautiful book that has about 91 illustrations of very famous pieces. Uh, some of the artists are from Indonesia, some from the Philippines. You have, a f uh, because these are the pillars of Southeast Asian contemporary art. And then you have a few others from Cambodia, from Vietnam, from uh, Singapore, and then also from Thailand. Uh, what is striking is that a lot of these artists are well established, but then all, you have also a few younger artists that embrace new technologies, uh, new ways of doing art and also have different themes. Uh, as you know, historically the region has suffered less than China, but of course there have been major uh, changes on the political and economical scene in the region. But the artists right now are focusing most on their personal concerns and that is very interesting. Because, of course, uh, what is peculiar to them, what is special to them, comes out in the artworks. And these artworks can be paintings, sculptures, installations, videos, also uh, some photographs, even new techniques like flatbed scanning. So, all kinds of media are represented in the book. Behind me you see one perfect example of one of the major artists from the region, Ronald Ventura. Uh, this is a, a beautiful painting and what is striking is the juxtaposition of different themes. So, I mean, it's basically based on what happens in the Philippines, but it also has a kind of global take. And this is very special for Southeast Asia because it remains an area where the artists base their art on their local traditions, on some of their uh, local situations. But they put the, that in a new context. So it, the tradition doesn't act as a crutch. On the contrary, it's reused, it's reinterpreted. And then a certain global context is being added as well. So make your day, get yourself one of these beautiful books, it's available on Amazon, it's called Southeast Asian Contemporary Art Now, and I'm sure you will discover a lot of new clues, new explanations about the contents of these fascinating artworks. Thank you.